story. Before we have the story, I'd like to ask all of the kids to collect the green flags. People will be waiting for you. Sharks, he was praying to God. 
and a memory of a Bible verse that he read when he was in um, his little kid's uh, Bible class. It was a story of Paul. You guys remember who the Apostle Paul is? Yeah. Paul was arrested, and Paul was going to be taken to Rome. And so Paul had to go from where he was at in Jerusalem to Rome, and he had to do it by ship. And he went from ship to ship to ship. One of the last ships that he got on got in trouble. Now, during that time, you could only sail so many months out of the year. And they got to the end of the sailing season. But they really needed to get to their destination. And so they decided, the people who were running the ship and the Roman soldiers decided they were going to sail on to Rome. Paul told them that was a bad idea. But Paul was a prisoner, and so they didn't really listen to him. Do you know what happened? Their ship sunk. So, as the pilot is bobbing up and down in the water, this is the verse that he remembered. That Paul was shipwrecked, and Paul trusted in God, and Paul saved everybody's life on that ship because he told them to trust in God as well. And God gave Paul a dream that nobody would perish. And so this man thought that as he's bobbing up and down in the water, if Paul could trust in God, then he too would trust in God. Now, do you think it'd be hard to trust in God when you're out in the middle of the ocean? Okay. Now listen, he's got a life jacket on, so about this much of him is out of the water. How hard would it be to see somebody with just a head from either the air or from another ship? <coughs> Very hard, right? So he's praying, he's praying, he's trusting in God. And it's looking like it's going to get dark. And you know what happens when it gets dark in the ocean? Yeah, the shark's feet. So it got dark and he's remembering again. Another thing that happened to Paul. That Paul was shipwrecked and he was in the ocean for how long? Do you guys remember? Five million years. <laughs> That's a long time. Not that long. But he was in there for, I believe, a day and a night. Would you like to be in the ocean all night long? No, I could be there for a million years. Well... So this man, as he's bobbing up and down, he's praying, he's praying, and you know what? He felt something bump the bottom of his leg. You think that'd be scary? <coughs> and he cried out, and something bumped the bottom, because it's at nighttime, he can't see his feet. So, he feels something bump the bottom of his leg, he cries out to Jesus, Jesus, please help me. And you know what he felt? Something bumped the other leg. And he cried out again, Jesus, please help me. And all night long, he kept feeling something bump his legs, but nothing ever bit him. But when the morning came and the light came up, you know what was bumping his legs? Dolphins. Dolphins! Do you know what dolphins do to sharks? They will chase them away. Okay? Isn't that amazing? Now, don't you think a shark would be more powerful than a dolphin? No. But he prayed to Jesus, and he prayed for Jesus to help him and keep him safe from the sharks. And do you know what Jesus said? Dolphins. So he's hanging out with the dolphins, and he felt really good that Jesus heard his prayer for the dolphins, and he kept praying that Jesus would send somebody to pick him out of that water because he got tired of treading. And it took probably about another nine hours, but then a boat came by. And again, think about this. How hard would it be to see somebody bobbing up and down in the water? This is what happened here. Those dolphins weren't sent there for him to ride. They were just there to protect him from the sharks. So listen, on the boat, the boat was looking for enemy subs. And so the boat had a guy with binoculars, and instead of seeing a sub, you know what he saw? A person. Bobbing up and down in the water. With dolphins. With dolphins swimming around him. So listen, so they went over there and he saved his life. <coughs> And this man never forgot that story. He never forgot about how Jesus actually answered his prayers and saved him. So always remember that as God answers his prayers, as God answers Paul's prayers, God will also answer your prayers. Okay? We're going to go back to our seats, all right? You did really good. Is her dress pretty or what? Yes. Okay, you guys, you can go back to your seats. Thank you.